These guys need to go in the barn before they become dinner. out here waiting he says are you coming yet my ladies need me you ready to go get your girls are you ready to go get your girls you'll go see the ladies all right let's go come on red let's go let's go he's never much cared for me but he'll follow me when I'm putting his girls out I've been feeding him separate in the morning because well, he's a pig. <laughs> I mean, roosters are as it is, tend to overeat, but then meat rooster, he really overeats. And I feel like he was eating too much and the girls weren't getting enough. So I started separating him to feed in the morning and then I come back out later and let the girls out. You ready to see your girls? Yeah? You ready to see your girls? Here they are. If I can get the latch, there we go. Here they are. And then he goes in and sees if they leave any behind. Because <laughs> he's a pig. You don't care about the girls. You just want to go see if there's any food left. See what I mean? You're a pig, Red. You already had your food. Ready? Ready? Oh, 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 you ready? Ready? Oh, it's like, here you go. Ready? Hey. Good boy. He likes us. Come on, bring it back. He likes Lisa? A, a player. He does like to play. Yeah. Good boy. Pela? Good dog. Ready? One more? One more? Ready? <laughs> He is. He likes it a lot. You want to throw it? Yeah. Ayla? Throw it as far as you can. Throw it hard. Woo! Good job! <laughs> this one's a troublemaker. I tell ya. I left her locked in until she laid her egg. Every day. For like two weeks. And now I'm pretty sure she is off to a different nest again. Seriously. One day. <laughs> She's got her head in the pipe. <laughs> One day. She went back in the barn to lay. And I was so proud of her. I brought her a strawberry. And then she left. <laughs> I don't know what she's doing. I think I'm going to grab her and throw her back in the barn though. Come on, Harriet. This is not where you lay your eggs. She's definitely intent on finding something. What is she looking for? Oh, she did not. Are you kidding me? No wonder I can't find them. What is she doing, Molly? Do not take after her. I mean, yes, start laying, but not there. Yeah, this one, Molly. And this one, Olive, my two olive eggers, are like seven months old, but have not started laying yet. That's rather late. I have heard that it's not completely uncommon for hatchery chickens to do that, just because they aren't bred super selectively. So they're just not as good quality. But I do hope they start laying soon. Wow. Yeah, you cannot even see her in there now. Well, she came out for a, a little bit, so I went ahead and caught her and put her in the barn, in the nest box, and locked her in. So, when she's finished laying her egg, I will let her back out. In the meantime, I'm going to go see 
How many eggs are under these stairs? Okay. This is just incredible. I cannot even, I can't even believe she did that. I actually don't see any. So I don't actually see any in here yet. I think she was maybe just looking for a new spot. I don't really know. That's so weird. Yeah, I don't feel any eggs in here. I don't see any eggs. What on earth? Because she acted like she knew exactly where she was going. Am I right? That chicken. Luann, my dear. You look so rough. There's hardly any feathers left on your wings. She had to sleep on the floor last night because she didn't have enough feathers to get up to the roost. My poor dear. Well, I just came out to check on these and see if Harriet laid her egg yet so I can let her out. But... Those are vultures? Which normally you would think is fine. They only eat dead things, but... I think these might be black vultures. If that's the case, I've heard throughout the summer that apparently these guys are actually really aggressive and will attack live chickens. In which case, these guys need to go in the barn before they become dinner. Telescopes are not just for looking at stars. I've just been looking through here and I'm pretty sure those are indeed a black vulture. So I need to go get the chickens in before they become dinner. Were you being really loud to scare away the vultures? Thank you. Come on, chick, 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 chicks. Let's go home, come on. Come on, chick, 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 chicks. Yeah, tick, 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 tick. Come on, guys. Come on, tick, 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 tick. Here, girls. Come on. Come on, tick, 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 tick. Here, girls. Let's go. Come on, Rita. Shut the door. You gotta unlatch it. Come on, Rita. Come on, Rita. You coming? Come on, tick, tick, tick. Come here, Rita. Can you get her? Gently. <laughs> Come on, Rita. Come on. <laughs> Thank you. There we go. Let's go to bed, guys. Let's see. Oh, look, Harriet laid her egg. Thanks, Harriet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. See, it's a good thing you came in. You're ready to lay an egg. Thank you for your help, guys. The girls were out here looking at the tadpoles this morning and discovered that we've had some salamanders move in. You know, little salamander. How are you? They thought it was a snake at first. She was swimming around in there. But nope, he's got legs. He's a salamander. Hi. Hey, you too. Will you go lay down? Punchy. Both of you. Dogs don't leave me alone. Anyways, <laughs> I just wanted to kind of update on some things that have been happening around here with the chickens lately. First, let me say, I'm like convinced that my chickens all made a pact to see how many ways they could you know, get mysterious illnesses and die on me so that I would feel like a horrible chicken owner because that's what it's starting to feel like. Anyways, with that being said, barbecue, she would not get down off the roosts in the morning. She was just stayed perched up there when everybody, even after I fed them, she didn't get down. She just stayed up there on the perch, which is weird enough on its own and then I went and was able to pick her up and she didn't seem to care. Um, on my way back to the garage with her to put her in quarantine because I figured something must be wrong with her if she's acting like this. Uh, I noticed that her crop was still full. Um, if you're not familiar with um, chicken anatomy, the crop is kind of like the first stop for food 
and the chicken's digestive tract, they don't have teeth, obviously. So the food kind of goes into their crop where small pebbles and things that they've eaten grinds it up before it passes on through the intestines. Um, and her crop had not emptied out overnight, which it should. She still had food in it from the previous day. It was pretty full still. Um, which led me to the conclusion that she had a crop, crop impaction, which there really isn't a cure for. The only absolute sure way to fix it is like literal surgery. Like cut open her chest, clean out the crop and sew her back up. Sorry, that's not happening. No. So anyways, yeah, I wasn't about to do surgery like that on a chicken who's wide awake. Nor was I about to spend a couple hundred dollars for a vet to do it because somebody probably paid three dollars for that chicken when they got her. She's not worth three hundred dollars. Sorry. We tried to wait it out a couple days, tried massaging her crop, wasn't working. And she also, while in quarantine, actually passed at least two large, large roundworms. Which explains why she's been so skinny all the time, because she apparently had a worm infestation, which all chickens have, which I believe I've mentioned before, but so between that and the fact that she could not eat because her crop was already full, she was literally starving and dehydrating to death. So we did end up having to put her down. I will say though, uh, the second time around with barbecue, because we didn't have to think about it all day, we just were like, hey, this needs done, let's go do it. It was much, much easier to do. There wasn't as much emotion or forethought involved in it. I think that helped a lot. So for those of you with chickens, if something comes up and you need a cold chicken, just go get it over with. Don't think about it too long. But I think a couple of the other ones probably have a bit of a heavy worm load as well. So I actually was able to find an herbalist, a chicken herbalist, who um, was able to um, sell me some herbal dewormer for the chickens for the rest of the flock and I've been putting it in their water they apparently love it so they have been guzzling it down which is good so I'm going to keep up with that it was recommended for 10 days and hopefully that will knock out any kind of parasite overload that they have I am optimistic. I'm going to make a calculated effort, <laughs> they, you know, to make sure that I'm including different foods in their diets that are known for help with pest prevention, which this is a great time of year to start because pumpkin is really, really good, especially the seeds. So I've got a whole bunch of pumpkins in my house right now, and those chickens are going to really enjoy those seeds. Yellow ones or red ones? What do you got? Oh, nice. Hold on to them. 